Of all the ways reality can be, why do we live in three dimensions instead of, I don't know, two or four or 1.8? Like, it's okay for us to move back and forth, left and right or up and down, but not hyper up or hyper down. Why is that? Is there something special about three dimensions? Well, the easy answer is that we evolved to live in a three-dimensional universe, so that's the universe we perceive. If the universe had been two-dimensional, then we would also be two-dimensional. Same with four dimensions. But as far as explanations go, that kind of sucks. It just basically says if the universe were any other way than the way it is, then it would be different. Luckily, there's another way to look at it. It might seem like spaces with higher or lower dimensions are all kind of the same. But some things in three dimensions are weird, like rotations. In two dimensions, you can twist things clockwise or counterclockwise, and that's it. And if you twist something a quarter turn clockwise and then a half turn counterclockwise, you get the same thing you'd get if you did the turns in the opposite order. But in three dimensions, doing the same two rotations in a different order gives different results. And things like gravity behave differently in different kinds of space, too. Like, in three dimensions, the strength of gravity between two massive objects depends on the distance between them, squared. In two dimensions, it just depends on the distance. But in four dimensions, gravity depends on the distance cubed. What that means is that if the universe were two-dimensional, gravity as we know it would be too strong for things like solar systems to form. And in a 4D universe, gravity would be too weak. It's only in a 3D universe that gravity is the right strength for things like suns and planets and question-asking monkeys to evolve. Now that does just shift the question from why is our universe 3D to why do 3D universes have the right gravity for us to exist? But the fact that things work differently in three dimensions rather than two or four hints at something deeper. Space might not be the most fundamental thing in the universe. Instead, it may emerge from some deeper process, like maybe the mathematical laws of quantum mechanics, or even the rules of pure information. And it's entirely possible that space isn't really a thing. It could just be an idea we humans use to keep track of the relationships between different objects. While the actual truth of the universe is beyond our comprehension, at least for now. 